guys, Nexus here, back working on the Majora's Mask Clock. Now, where we left off last video, I was going to work on that outside ring. And as you can see, no work has progressed on this. That's because I did a couple tests with the carbon using a Dremel, and you know, the results were okay, but I'm worried about making it consistent all the way around for all that stuff I have to carve. So I'm still on the fence whether or not I want to do that or just paint the symbols on. And as boring as it is, I might just have to paint the symbols on. What I did do, though, in the meantime, is start working on the clock face. Now, I'm going to have to cook and show it a little bit here, since I didn't really have a chance to film. I took some work-in-progress pictures, but here is the clock face that I have previously prepared. And as you can see, I've got a bit of the symbols down, I've got some painting done, and I think it looks pretty good for where it's at. So the goal for today is to get some more symbols outlined, get them drawn out in what's actually paint pen, which comes in really handy for something like this, and then get some painting done on it and see if I can't get some more color into this clock face. Now, my process for getting these symbols on here, I talked about it a little just now, but essentially what it was is I found this really good template for this clock face online. I'll link to it here if you guys want to use it. And essentially what I did is I printed it out. It came out on like six sheets, so I had to tape some of the symbols together. But what I did was I got my template, just got some tape loops on the back, not that hard, lined it up where I needed to be, stick it down, and then I went around that outside edge with a paint pen, just standard black, and I think it worked really well. The outlines weren't quite as good when I started with it. It was more like this one, where you can see their little dots where I stopped and started. But after I got it done once, I went back over, did a second pass, the lines looked pretty good, and then I just went through with some basic acrylic paint and started doing this. One thing I noticed on the clock face in the games, and in the reference picture that I'm using for this, is that you can kind of see the wood grain through all this stuff, and I wanted to make sure that came through to this too. So what I did is I used this little bowl here, nothing in it right now, but I put some water in there, and I just kind of used the brush to water down the paint I was using. So that way when I put it on, it would be a little bit weaker, a little bit more see-through. And I'm not sure how well it comes through on camera, but especially through here, you can really see the darker kind of swipes of wood grain. And I think it looks really good. So essentially what my process is here is I bring up my reference photo on my phone, and I just kind of have this lying by my side here as I start placing things down. Now what I want to do right now are these two little wings that kind of come down here. So just for reference, I'm going to start setting this circle down, and I can bring these two just to kind of figure out where everything is going to sit. Now things are going to be a little bit more crowded on mine than on this page, I'm pretty sure, but I think that's all right. And once I find a good position for this, I'll flip these over, put some tape loops on the back, stick it down, and run over with this guy.
All right, so this sounds a little stupid to say, but I didn't realize how like final the white would be. And you can see it's going all over my black lines here. I didn't have that problem with the red. I overlapped a bit and even came out of lines a little bit here. But that black was dark enough and the red was kind of washed out enough to not really show up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for this to dry and I'm gonna go back over it with my paint pen again, redo those lines and hopefully I'll get a clear, crisp, black to white here, as opposed to this mess that I've got going on right now. I went back over those lines, they all look pretty good now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over with this same color red and this space around here and here, and then I think I'm going to pull out the yellow and go over these wings. And then that might be that for today. I say that, but I'll probably work more on it tonight because I'm making progress and I like the way this thing is pulling together.
it is not the night of, but the next night from the last bit of video you saw. And I did some more work, as you just saw, on this clock face, and this is where I've ended up. I'd say, I think I have just a few more symbols to go on this. I have that big sun that's in the center, and then there's a couple more white dots down here, and there's like little, not wings, but little offshoots that come around from that sun. So hopefully I'll be able to get all that done tomorrow, and I'll be done with the symbols, and then I can do the shades of blue in the background and be done with the face entirely. And then from there, I'll dig that ring back out and figure out what exactly I'm going to do with it. Because the more I think about it, the more I think I'm just going to end up painting stuff on there. I don't want to, but I think it would be the most consistent, and really that's the only ring I have. So if I mess something up there carving, I've set myself back I don't know how far. So I think I'm going to take the safe route and just paint the symbols on there too. So I don't know if you can see the clocks in the background, but it is officially 1am now. So I am going to just go collapse into bed and try and get some sleep. But tomorrow, more clockwork, more progress, and hopefully this entire thing will be done before too long. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.